what advice would you give to those who are trying to get to that, that dream job, what they studied for? What advice would you give? Because you, you made it, it seems. Uh, well, I guess the first thing, you have to be really positive and you have to just follow what you love, but understand in your heart that, that where you start may not always be where you're going to end up. And, and as long as your, your passion and your will is there, you, you can do whatever you want to do. Very interesting. And I'm talking about leading to where you want to go. I'm here right next to her, actually, with uh, Joel St. John. And you had to leave Toronto to go to Calgary to live with your uncle, um, where you weren't able to find a job here uh, in your field of studies being business marketing. But how hard was it for you to make that decision, come to grips, if you will, saying, I got to leave my home here and leave? How hard was that? Um, it was extremely hard. Um, as I said, like, everyone I know, family, everyone's here. I only just had my uncle out there. So it was a total change of scenery, total change of mindset, attitude that I had to go there with. Um, my uncle does a, uh, he has his own business. So it's, the hours are a lot longer. So there's a lot of things I had to deal with in myself. And um, I think that's one t thing we need to really focus on is that in this job market, new skills are required and a lot more balance of being a human being is required. You know, um, I'm thankful that I'm gifted in music. So I was able to jump into that. Um, yes, it may not be the, uh, I guess, most lucrative. The, the, the most moment. lucrative <laughs> or, the, moment, yeah. or uh, the happiest thing for my parents because they're like, oh, do doctor, lawyer, nah, you know, yeah. like it's, <laughs> it's, it's a harder thing. But I'm glad I really was able to refocus. It's funny. I went away to come back in a better mindset. 